Sai's here back with another interesting and most important video and today in this video I'm gonna talk about 12 best rooted apps in which some apps for increase your battery backup, some apps for increase your device performance, some apps comes with a lot of features, some apps related with automations and a lot of interesting other apps is also included in this video so definitely watch this video without skipping okay and also join our telegram channel where I provide important files and updates and so without any wasting of time let's begin. Okay, let's start with first rooted app. The first rooted application name is Color Blender. Yeah, guys, th with the help of this Color Blender application, you can theme your device in different colors. Like I have already set a this type of wallpaper. So you have an option of wallpaper based. Also, you have a basic colors. So you can set any basic color theme. Like if you, uh, if you, if I want to set any different type of like red, orange, blue, whatever you want to set, you can set it easily. Okay. And also a op interesting option is present. You can set any saturation level of this theme. This is very interesting. Okay. And also different type of styles is present as we can say different type of styles. Uh, like if I want to set uh, this monochrome, so as we can see, it looks like a um, gray color or black and white color. So different type of colors is present, different type of styles is present. So set it according to your requirement. And also talking about how to enable the, this color blender service, simply open the application, give the root access, uh, magic uh, automatically ask root access to this application. So simply, uh, set grand or click on grand or give the grand access to this application. If you are using kernel SU or a patch, then you need to give individual permission for this application or any application, which I'm going to talk about now in video, right? Now talking about next rooted app, this application name is switch back. Okay. Swift backup. This application name is Swift backup. So with the help of this application, you can take the backup of your apps, app data, messages, call logs, uh, Wi-Fi network, uh, like these things, you can take the backup easily. Like I'm going to take the backup of one of the application, which I, in, which installed on my device, like this is Instagram. So click, take the Instagram and set the permissions, which you want. Like I want to, uh, um, want, uh, I want these things, APK media data. So these things I want. So simply, uh, take this options out after that set the backup path like I want to take backup on my device. So you can take this backup on your cloud storage as well. So simply after taking the backup of any APK, simply I'm going to, for example purpose, I'm uninstalling this Instagram. After that, restore it. Let's see what happened. The application is going to crash or working fine. Let's see. So his, here it is, as we can see, two apps is present. I already take the backup of two apps. So I'm going to restore only one app, which is Instagram. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to restore this Instagram of Instagram APK. So let's see what happened. It is restored success after st restoring successfully. It going to open or crashing. It is very important because let's see. So, okay. Restoration is successfully completed and the Instagram is open and previously the account is logged in perfectly working, but now account is logged out, but Instagram is not going to crash. It's going to work properly. Okay, like that you can take the backup of call logs, messages, Wi-Fi network, etc. Okay, and also an uh, interesting option is present, which is you can take the backup on your directly on your device or you can take on cloud storage. This is cloud support is also present, but you need to get some upgradation option also present. So you can upgrade it for taking backup on different type of cloud. If you want to use different type of clouds, Mega, Dropbox, etc. Okay, and different type of options is also present. Let's see. Okay, now talking about next root application, which application name is AF Wall Plus. So this application used to block internet for specific application. Like if I want to block the internet on this um, YouTube, simply tick the YouTube boxes like Wi-Fi internet and after that enable the firewall and it will take some seconds to set up and after uh, set up successful, it block the internet on YouTube or whatever which you set the application for blocking. Okay. So as we can see, I turn off this, I disabling this firewall. So after that, uh, the YouTube or any application which is blocked previously that works now fine. So you can block the internet on in any application. So with the help of root access, you need to give the root access to that application. After that, you are good to go. Now talking about next rooted app, the app name is quick reboot. Yeah, guys, with the help of this uh, quick reboot app, you can reboot your device on any mode like bootloader mode, EDL mode, 
डाउनलोड मोड इफ यू आर सैमसंग यूजर देन आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मोड्स इज प्रेजेंट लाइक रिकवरी बूट लोडर ओके टर्न ऑफ आई मीन पावर ऑफ और रीबूट दिज ऑप्शन आर प्रेजेंट ओके नॉर्मली इन अवर स्टॉक रूम और एनी कस्टम रूम द बूट लोडर मोड और रेडियल मोड और रिकवरी मोड इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन सम ROMs. So on that ROM, this application is very useful. Okay. Now let's talk about next rooted app. Uh, this is on run. This application run only, uh, not only on root. This application run on root as well as on ADB, wireless debugging. You know, now I already talk about this app. I already tell how to set up this Shizuku application with the help of Shizuku. Uh, in in little bit in little words uh, shizu is alternative of root we can say alternate of root so with the help of shizu you can set different type of apps or you can use different type of apps okay so which is support shizu so you can uh, directly set the shizu without any adb setup with the help of root access okay now talking about this application this next application name is icebox okay as uh, no icebox is used to freeze any application on our device it is very useful okay so if your device is rooted then simply give the root access to this icebox and you can freeze any application uh, with the help of this icebox okay so you can uh make a different type of app list and you can freeze all those apps which you selected which you added on list okay now talking about next uh, rooted app this is not a rooted app you can use without root access but uh, for more power for giving more power to this app you can give the root permission to this application the application name is microtrite okay so with the help of this microtrite you can auto auto uh, you can set automation for the which you want to do on your device like uh, here it is a different type of templates is present like skipping ads or whatever you want to do automation if you want to do automation work so you can uh, use this application if you give root access then you can use advanced level of automation levels so root access is mandatory for setting or for using advanced level of automation templates or you also made a different type of templates or already previous made templates is also present on this app now talking about next rooted app the application name is kernel auditor so with the help of this kernel auditor you can set the different frequencies of cpu gpu or other options is also present so with the help of this application you can increase your performance of your device performance you can tweak you can give the tweaks to the your kernel your stock kernel custom kernel whatever you have but you can set this is a manager apk we in, simply in words we can call it is a manager apk for your kernel okay so this is the kernel auditor so you can tweak according to your desired requirement okay now talking about next rooted app the application name is d blotter yeah guys with the help of this d blotter application you can d blot any application on your device but the super important point is don't d blot any system level application otherwise your device gonna soft break so after <laughs> gonna soft break you need to uh, format data or you need to flash rom again so this is very important so before removing any system application just note that that application is not uh, important for system okay this is the main important point like you can remove any browser application which is blotware type application on your device okay but don't remove any system frameworks applications or which the which applications for supporting system to run so those application don't remove it okay so after clicking on remove just click on reboot it will automatically re, uh, remove that application okay so first of all you need to give the root access to this application after that you are good to go to remove any blotware applications now talking about next application the application name is hebf optimizer okay so this application is very useful to preserve your battery to stop power consumption more power consumption on your device so it is very useful to save more battery so with the help of this application you can set different levels different level different parameters of frequencies or not of frequencies here it is a different features is present so simply you can enable it after that the battery is improved but also your ui is not stuck like uh, we, if we if we downgrade our clock frequency our battery backup is increased but our device is not working properly our performance is decreased our ui is not working fine so 
uh, that type of situation you can't face in this app this app uh, do proper way uh, in the proper way it will adjust the frequencies and give the good output okay now talking about next application which is downgrader so with the help of this downgrade application you can downgrade any app which is installed on your device like i'm going to downgrade my instagram uh, previously i mean presently on my device the instagram version which i have that is um, 341 and now i'm going to downgrade it 339 so how can i do it simply uh, select that uh, downgraded version apk which you want to downgrade like here it is the installed instagram uh, uh, version is 341 and i want to downgrade 339 so simply select 339 from this choose apk section okay uh, after that click on this downgrade option and let's see it will downgrade that application and if you have login on that application then login credential is not gone and the application is not also crashing working fine as we can see the previously instagram version is uh, 341 now the instagram version is 339 let's open it and check it's working fine or not okay it's working fine without any issue and there is no crashing issue so you can simply downgrade any application with the help of this downgrader okay now talking about next application which name is permission x manager okay with the help of this application you can uh, set a deep level of permission you can take it a different type of permissions like deep level permission means not only like allow allow for a microphone like uh, if you want to allow for camera location not only those things you can set a deep level of permissions like if i'm stopping some permissions of this camera application as we can see this recording permissions i'm going to take off okay i am turn off that to turn off that two toggles which is for which permission gives the microphone and after that i'm going to record one of the any video normally like i'm take the video and if i play this video in in that video the sound is not coming okay so let's play it so the sound is not coming so this is the normal i say i uh, set the permission of this normal these are the normal things but different different type of permissions is present you can uh, you can uh, set or remove permissions a deep level permissions you can remove a deep level of permissions of this with the help of this application okay so this is very also useful if you want to take deep level of permission any of any of the app okay so these are the 12 best rooted apps if you like this video then definitely like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care